previously on Uranium Chef. The contestants returned to the studio to prepare for their first main event challenge, which saw Zorby trying to repair his relationship with Macron, Wendy trying to snoop and failing, and Thunnus eating a whole lot of mac and cheese. After their stylish entrances into the arena, the secret ingredient was unveiled to be surf and turf. But that wasn't the only surprise, as the Promethean Chef was revealed to be a secret opponent in this battle. Now, with the battle well underway, the pressure is on. We return to the studio as the contestants battle it out today on Uranium Chef! So it starts with the the big guy. Most of y'all, yeah, yeah. Most of y'all are at the center. Obviously, uh, the Promethean Chef and his Subots, they already made it back. Right, they got back before you guys even did, uh, and they have been um, furiously working at their stations. God damn, um, you can see it just it's it is like a science how good they are. And he even turns around and he goes, ha, 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 is it? "This is going to be the greatest dish I have ever created. All five of these will d make all of yours pale in comparison. You might as well leave now." Is it really even considered cooking if you're not doing it and your bots are? How dare you challenge me in such a way? Do you want to fight over this? And he steps towards the edge, and he actually, like, burns his flamethrower into the air in a threatening manner. Wow. Yeah. When I started picking a fight with the Promethean Chef, I just assumed he'd forget about me. But he didn't. So, I guess that was my bad. No, I got. Oh, let's I go! And as you say that, he leaps from his stage to the center, right where you are with the Black Mamba. And now can we've I use, got ourselves a fight on our can hands. Can I use a fate point for this? Yes. Uh, what would you like to do with this fate? Uh, while he's leaping over, I would like to trip him before he lands. You want to try and trip him? So he's. I'm he guessing lands. he's le leaping, mm -hmm. and as he obviously has to take one step is, on the thing. I was going to say, is it I only, want to. We're all out there. Is it only Jasmine that can react to this happen? Or uh, you can all try to react if you wanted to, uh, but you first say yeah. you want to try and trip him, and this is happening so quickly. You guys, yeah. you're yeah. like, huh? Like it's basically like while you guys are doing your stuff, when you're like grabbing things, this is happening. Yeah. He's leaping over to try and attack. I want uh, to scuba. like put my foot out as he's like. I want to carefully time it so that I put my foot out while he's landing, mm -hmm. and then do like a quick. Motion okay. like that to like, kick him off. Okay. And I'm hoping that he lands either headlong into one of the tanks mm -hmm. or tumbles into the pit. I'm okay. guessing the tanks are closer. Okay. So you are going to try and trip the Promethean Chef, a warrior from the, the annals of time a and space. I'm point to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to give yourself a bonus. Sure. Okay. Go ahead and, and roll your careful. Ah. You're in trouble. Oh no. Uh ooh. ooh. Am I? You might not be. <laughs> Let's see. Uh okay. Um in his fury, right? And he's scorching the sky like as he's jumping through. Uh you're able to put your foot out and while he sees it as he's coming in, in order to try and avoid it, he kind of puts his leg out to the side and slips a little bit and kind of does like one of those like splits kinds of deals. So he's like a little bit off foot. He Dur still made it to the center. During this time and he's off balance, can I just give him a little with my butt? You want to try and give him a little butt bump? All right, so how do you want to, what are you going to use to butt bump? That's going to be quick, I think. Yeah. You're going to try and butt bump him. Uh, I only have one to quick, but I will at least want to try. Go for it. You got so lucky. Can can she control like Messbot or someone else to like say, "Hey, Messbot"? She could try and say something, but this is all happening in like like seconds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, okay. Okay. So you try and butt bump him. Mm -hmm. Is uh, it just too sturdy? And it, yeah, he it's you like you hit him, and it's kind of like you go, oh, ooh, like you like, kind of like bruised your hip doing contact. that one. Yeah. And he just kind of like looks at you. What are you doing? What? What is happening? And then he points his torch at you. Okay. Ooh. And is it? You got one one last shot. You want to try and do anything? He's obviously confused. He's got the the, the flamethrower pointed at me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to basically just get out of his line of sight. 
because he's like confused. He's looking and he's obviously much bigger than me. I'm going to try to sneak down. So you're trying to duck away from his yeah. shot. And then I'm going to pretend after I duck, I'm going to pretend that he doesn't know me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because apparently it's been working for me so far. It's a plus three. Mm-hmm. One, zero, zeros. Uh, oh, I have no. four. <clears throat> Lost one again. <laughs> you attempt to duck, mm -hmm. and as you do, the flame erupts from his uh, torch, and it singes the top of your head. Ooh. All right, so now you're holding on to your mm -hmm. uh, black hole mamba, and your head is currently burning. When I first saw the Promethean Chef in all of its fire that he had, I was like, somebody is gonna get set on fire. I was just surprised at how fast it happened and also relieved that it didn't happen to me. It was the craziest thing. Someone from the audience just came out of nowhere, started picking a fight with the Promethean Chef and now he's trying to set her on fire? Who is this that's picking a fight with him? I, I feel like that's against the rules. I hope I don't get a bald spot from that. Oh. I guess no one would probably notice because they don't really remember, so... I'm sure I'll be fine tomorrow. I just need to find some burn cream. Mm. Okay. What are you gonna do about that? Uh, obviously I guess stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> so, when you say drop, are you dropping the mamba or are you still gonna try no, and roll? No, I'm gonna on tuck to? and roll. You're gonna try and tuck and roll with the mamba. Okay. <laughs> This has gone wonderful. I guess I'm going to be careful because... You're going to be very careful because you want to hold on to that thing. I want to hold that to my I, I don't want to lose it. That's very much the case that you need to be careful about this. Oof. You drop to the floor, attempting to uh, put the fire out on your head. Um, and you are rolling like on your sides and not doing anything with your head. Mm -hmm. So you do nothing to eliminate the fire from your head. Uh, as well... Um, you're starting to lose grip on the black hole mamba, and as you do that, it kind of expands out again. Ooh. Right? Uh, and when it does that, uh, it does kind of dazzle the Promethean chef, and so he just kind of, you know, is a little confused, and so he just sort of like looks at you and goes like, Have fun with that! I'm gonna go beat you now! And he jumps back over to his side, and again commences with uh, making his... Uh, food, uh, and you. I will, still don't believe he's cooking. You will take a uh, a strained condition. Um, you're able to eventually get the fire to burn down because, as you always do, you were wearing your chef's hat, uh, and your chef's <clears throat> hat kind of um, burns off, and you're able to get away from it. But um, you definitely do take the strained, and now you've kind of like lost a little bit of your grip on that black mamba. So you're gonna probably have to do something with that when it comes around to your turn. Okay, but I still right. have it though, right? I just listen. you still have it. It's just kind of that was the Promethean chef. That was the Promethean chef. Right? That took turn. a while. Yeah. Well, you know, someone challenged the Promethean chef to a duel, and he doesn't like it. Uh, so. I don't believe he's a cook, though. I think he's just a glorified Pipe grill. down, burned head. Uh, Zorby Borb. All right, so uh, I'm sitting in the middle. All three of us are in the middle, right? Uh, right now. It's it's me, it's uh, Macron, and it's uh, Thunnis, right? And you just witnessed her get her chef's hat It was amazing. Off. It was yeah. amazing. Um, <laughs> amazing to behold, uh, which is why she's not wearing it right now. Um <laughs> Uh, okay. It got hot. So take it off. I have two things in my hand right now. I figure it's gonna be difficult for me to get back across. Uh, Macron, he <laughs> failed getting that uh, algae gator. Indeed. I'm gonna give him one of my nice pieces. Of oh, okay, so you're I gonna say got. something to Macron. I'm I gonna see. say, hey Macron, uh, here carry this uh, crab badger across. Light. All right, mode. all right. And so he the, he has like kind of just arrived as you're doing that because remember he was distracted, so he didn't get uh -huh. there right in time. So like this is him just arriving. So you're just yep. basically taking one of them and like putting it over. Yeah. So the crab badger, that's the one that's pinching at you. Yeah. All right. So uh, okay. So you're going to I'm going to assume carefully <clears throat> sure. hand that sure. to Macron, carefully. and Macron is going to try and carefully receive that from you. Okay. And we'll see how well you guys do on that. Come on. Okay. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Not bad yeah. at all. Uh, so I've got four. 
God damn it, Price. Come on, Macron. <laughs> uh, so you got a four? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, as you're handing it to Macron, uh -huh. and it's like snapping at him, you can see like he like kind of like it's like pulling his hands back, like every like trying not to. Okay. Uh, and so he seems like almost like he's not very confident. In oh come to on, grab Macron! Right. So do you, do you want to say something to him? Or do you want to try and con like somehow convince him to do so? I was wrong about you, Macron. I've never seen anybody operate under stress, and as drunk as you are, like you do. I want to be more like you. I like what you got going on. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. Uh, roll. I say clever. Clever. All right. Because you're you're obviously lying right now. <laughs> uh. So you say this to Macron, and he kind of like he gets like a little smile on his face, and then like he grabs the uh, crab badger just fine. Gets a little wink. And he, he winks. Yeah, he winks at <laughs> a little. Bit. And I wink but back. Then, but then he says, "You remember I can read your mind, right?" <laughs> and then. But you give it to him, and he safely runs back over to uh, the other side. Amazing. Uh, so you succeeded in that. Great. Um, good save. Good save. <laughs> he failed. <laughs> I rolled like all fails. <laughs> so I was like, you did a great job, and he just, he, no. Ah, uh, shoot. Choked under pressure. Uh, all right. So uh, then what else do you want to do? I want to get myself across now. You're get yourself across. Okay, so... Um, do you want to carefully move across? You want to? What do you um, want to do? Is it as dangerous crossing back as it was crossing here? Uh, I mean, I can't tell you that. Oh shoot! You're gonna have to try to make it across. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to make it across. You know, what? I'm gonna do. It worked so well for me before. I'm gonna do the same thing I did the first time, which is. And I'm you have two less arms because they're holding on. Which to is the... fine because I've got six, baby, and okay. I only need two to do this. Okay. Well, I, technically, I need four. Yeah. But I got six. All right. Uh, so here's what I do. So with razor fan, right? That's what you have in your with hand. my razor fan. I've got right. two arms hugging this razor fan against me. I take two more, wrap them against two sturdy things. Take my other two, pull myself back, mm -hmm. and fling okay. myself back to safety. Roll for it. It's not the best roll in the world at all, but um, what's the total? I got two. You got two? I got two. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> you launch yourself across. Okay. Okay. Soaring through the air once again. And as you're doing that, the razor fan starts to <gasps> thrash around a little bit. Um, and so, used to as you're like falling towards the ground, right as you're going there, you're kind of off balance. Okay. So, instead of uh, landing on some of your tentacles, mm -hmm. as you would like, you are on a collision course to land directly on your fishbowl okay all right so what would you like to do um i'm going to roll a quick mm -hmm. to quickly roll onto my back okay so you're gonna try and yeah use like, that momentum i see that i'm coming towards my head i'm gonna try to, to just roll a little bit more try to get gotcha. a little bit more spin gotcha. to my fall you're, you're like mid flip and you're like let's go all the way yeah gotcha. exactly okay okay Okay, so, uh, yeah, you're able to do it, oh, and the Razor Fan, as you're doing that, it seems like the Razor Fan kind of, like, takes to your momentum, and okay. so you kind of, like, you roll together. Right. Land safely, and you still got it. It's like it tried to get away in that last little bit, but you got it back in. Fan. safely make it back with your Razor Fan. All is well. Mm -hmm. um, so, next up is Coco's turn. Um, Coco is holding on to, I forget what you told the me. Razor the Razor Fan. The Razor Fan. She's flying. Um, is there anything you want to tell her to do before she runs back across? Because she's there. You're now lying on the ground. Yeah. Mamba sort of getting away from you. Uh, would you like to try and do anything to tell your partner? Do you want to tell her to just go back without you? Or do you want to tell her to try and help you? What would you like to do? Is the Razor Fant, like, really fighting her? Um, no, she got it pretty well. I mean, she's got a good grip on it. So, you know, it, it's doing what it does. But she's got it. I don't want to strain her too much. Mm -hmm. um, no, she can go back. Okay. Yeah. So you just sort of, you know. Yeah, I, I don't want to like. She looks at you yeah. like, "Do you need help?" And yeah. you're just like, "Go on without me." Okay. She goes to cross, and as she does, um, yeah, a um, another side screech owl launches up. So it screeches at Coco. But she's able, because she's so tiny and nimble, she's kind of able to get back up onto uh, your side of the kitchen before the size screech owl um, does much damage to her. It does seem like it kind of hit her a little bit, so she's mm -hmm. kind of like, uh, you know, you see her kind of like nurse her head a little bit, but she makes it back okay, and she gets the razor fan okay. um, to the other side. Um, 
Next up, Wendy. Rolling okay. around on the ground, thrashing. Your Mess head spot. is singed. Mess spot. Do you have like a, a extinguisher? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, negative, I do not have any type of cooling device. Uh, I do, however, have multiple different blenders, uh, slicers, dicers, all kinds of different kitchen utensils. How may I be of assistance, sir? Have you never had a kitchen fire before? Have you never had to deal with that? Just, he just kind of stares at you as if this is a question that he doesn't want to have to approach. He's got like a, like a memory leak going on inside. Is the algae gator, is it dripping wet? Yeah, yeah it would be. It just sleeping. got pulled out of the thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, is it, it's, it's, can, yeah. I was like, can, he, can I just duck under the gator and let it just drip and like kind of put out the fire? <laughs> so what would you tell to Messbot, you know? Uh, I, like, Mess, okay, Messbot. Yes, sir! It, you're, the thing's just dripping, right? But it's very, sh it's very quiet. Remember, turn it down. Indeed! <laughs> just hold still. I'm going to crawl under... Well, I am, uh, first things uh -huh. first, I need to get a better grip on the stupid mama. Yes, indeed. So, uh, I'm going to carefully do it. Okay. Because uh, this thing is just thrashing, probably. Ooh, my god. As you uh, attempt to get a good hold on the mamba, it becomes clear that it is getting away. Um, now, you have two options here. Mm -hmm. You can just double down and really try and grab it, but it's clear that if you do this... You're gonna get bit. Let's. I'm just gonna let it go. Just gonna let it go. Yeah. All right. So the black hole mamba uh, escapes and slithers away, mm -hmm. uh, and it's gone. Okay. It's no longer there. If you want a black hole mamba, you're gonna have to grab another one from the the tank. Okay. okay. Well, I I'm gonna put my head out first. Okay. So obviously it's gone. So I, I I'm gonna crawl underneath the alligator, and while it's dripping, I'm gonna. Let <laughs> okay. Head. So and, uh, the, I, the I, alligator I, sleeping. M midi lullaby playing into its <laughs> yeah. ears, uh, <laughs> dripping down wet. You just kind of like put your head under there, and it puts out the last little remaining um, singes and cinders on top of your head. Um, and I guess I'll use the rest of my turn to get another ingredient. Okay, you're gonna try and grab another ingredient. All right, yep. what you gonna try and do? Uh, well, the black hole mom is gone. I might as well try. To you could go cover for another, my loss. You could go for another black hole mamba. I There's could. Not as nice looking ones left. They're a little bit. No, I think I'm gonna go for a cool or a badger crab. A cra okay, crab badger. Okay. Go for it. You're gonna careful. Um, you're gonna. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna careful because it sounds like it snaps. It's it's pinchy. So yeah, uh, you reach in carefully, try and grab it, and as you're doing so, it is snapping at you, but uh, you're able to just barely okay. avoid each of those little snaps. But it's 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 angry. It's mm -hmm. it's it's uh, it's struggling, uh, but you got a hold of it. Okay. Uh, and I think that's gonna be the end of your turn. And then as for Messbot, uh, yeah, it's mess. Uh, Macron, oh, Macron is up next. So would y'all like to yell anything at Macron? You already uh, uh, Macron has uh, handed him. The, um... So I was a little confused because during my turn, you said he grabs it and crosses. He didn't cross though, did he? I, uh, I, I, I think I that, assumed I... that he immediately ran back to your. Oh. Place. Okay, good. So he's across. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Macron's back. Yeah. Got and he's got the crab. He's got the crab. Um, what is... do you want him to start cooking? <laughs> do you want to basically? Do you guys have any requests of him, or do you want him to carry out his? He's got the duties. Crab. Um... Okay, I'm get, he's gonna gather ingredients for okay. a uh, a meal. Okay? okay, he's gonna gather some. Um, Let's just go ahead. So yeah. when it comes to gathering those types of ingredients, that's just kind of we can just say that he, he, does, he it. does it. He yeah. just got, does it. He, everything you guys wanted, put into the little thing. Boop, it's done. Okay, okay. great. Okay. Uh, then yeah, and that's what, his turn. Well, do you want to know what the ingredients are? You can go ahead and tell us what the ingredients are. I would, I, I would like. Go ahead. To. No, let, yeah. How how else would you know that he's going to get Zardlaxian, uh super lettuce? Zardlax. Okay. That's how it's going to be. It's with his, an X, Zardlaxian. In he the, knows the Axian or in the Zar. Both. <laughs> so it's with two X's then. Not, of course, not that's, an that's how you know it's from space. Sarlaxian yeah. super lettuce. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, he, he he gathers that. He gathers some Sarlaxian super lettuce. Mm -hmm. Now is this fresh Sarlaxian super the lettuce? Freshest you've ever seen. So it comes straight from Sarlaxia. Exactly. Like trick it's... question. It's actually called Zarlon. How dare you? You <laughs> act like you know this stuff. Got Just me. kidding. It's actually Sarlaxia. <gasps> 
Uh, Throw him through a loop. All right, so Macron is getting you some Zarlaxi and Super Lettuce. That's his turn. Uh, Messpot, what do you want Messpot to do? Uh, well, he's already got the gator. It's sleeping soundly. If he goes yeah. after anything else, he's probably going to wake it up. He might. It's possible. Yeah, I'm going to tell him to go back. Go back? Go back. All right, so he, uh, he goes to cross back over. Better hope I roll well. Dude, roll real. low. Yeah, he crosses over fine. Um, and... Um, he gets back, mm -hmm. and is there anything specific you want him to do, or just start prepping, or what do you want to do? Um, let's start prepping. Okay, yeah. so what do you want him to prep? Uh, let him... Because obviously, these things are all still alive, so yeah. to mess with them, you have to The gator is them. sound asleep, yep. obviously. Let's do it as quickly as humanely as possible. All and right. he is, he is dysomatic. He, if there's one thing he can do. And because the thing is asleep... Yep. I'm guessing it's going to be so easy for him. He could probably knock out the razor front too. So you wanted to try and do both. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure he could do the, the first one really quickly. All right. So you want, okay. Well, let's start with the first one. So here's the thing. So because he's already crossed, he's already used like half of his yeah. turn. So if you want him to do both, then he has to do a trickier roll. Basically he's got like one roll left. So if you want him to go for the alligator, you're right. That's probably gonna be super easy. Mm -hmm. If you want him to do both, then that's going to up the difficulty. Let's just do one. You just want to do well, the one? I've already wasted some turns. Okay. So, uh, and because he can, um, you're asking him to do a, a quick, painless kill. That's kind of his yeah. specialty. So, yeah. it's probably going to be fine. Yeah, he's fine. Okay. Um, so, yeah, uh, he kills the alligator in the most humane way possible, as quickly as possible. Uh, goes off without a hitch. Prepped, ready to go. He starts preparing the meats in all the ways that you need. The ingredients basically are there now. You okay. have algae gator ingredients. Um, Thunus. Yeah, I'll I'll try to be clever again. Um, okay. I'll grab. Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll grab something that's discarded on the ground, like. Like what? I don't know, like the black mamba that jazz. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it's slithered <laughs> off. He shuck shuck it. It's, no, it's slithered, <laughs> it's slithered off away. It's gone. Um, That's not around. <laughs> and I don't know the oh. the towel that the uh, the main uh, person that revealed the ingredients used is okay. still discarded on the ground. Sure. I'll grab that, chuck it in the opposite direction from where I'm trying to. Lead okay. To. Okay. So you're yeah. Okay. Um, Go ahead. I say this clever. Clever. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so yeah, you uh, you throw Fuck. the um, you kind of struggle with it a little bit. So like as you're doing it, you uh, kind of like shake the table a little bit, and all the ingredients are kind of like making a whole bunch of noise, kind of like bouncing around. You kind of agitated the ingredients, all right. Um, but you're able to pull it out and you throw it over the edge, uh, and it lands on the other side, and. Uh, Beneath this cloth, as you're running across, um, you hear the screeching sounds, <laughs> and you see the cloth kind of like lift up, sort of in the air, and kind of like flat, like kind of like flail around a little bit, and then smack back down into the ground, and just kind of sit there. I'm beginning to not believe that there are any other hazards. <laughs> I, I have rolled every time. I have rolled the same roll every time. I have, it's blo next time I probably I'm, no joke I am probably going to re-roll until I get something because it's, it's killing me right now okay so uh, you make it back across I'm back yeah. um, what would you like to do I'd like to can I trade the gator for the crab with Macron because that's sure he's got my ingredient he's, sure uh, um, and then you probably want to be careful sure as you're swapping so you're like so what do you say to Macron uh Macron, you're great with this uh, gator. It's in your wheelhouse. It's bitter. You, you're. I'm not saying that you're a bitter person, but you, what? You, I can't uh, hear you. I'm <laughs> wrestling a crab badger. Why don't we trade? That's a great <laughs> idea. Just say that next time. <laughs> All right. Uh, so then I will. You know what? Uh, he didn't do well with with careful last time. <laughs> uh, Let's go for go flashy. Let's go for flashy. Yeah, that's what I'm all about. So, so what are you going to tell him? To I'm going to say, chuck that at me, and I'll chuck this at you at the same time. This sounds like a horrible idea. <laughs> It'll work. Trust me. I trust you implicitly. Okay. <laughs> 
Let's go. <laughs> this is going to be super simple. It's just a game of hot potato. How hard is this? Uh, God damn you, Ash, with these rolls. You count down, all right? <laughs> Three, two, one. I love you. <laughs> and he throws it, all right? And slow-mo midair, you see this algae gator <laughs> now the gape flying in one direction, the crab badger pinching, pinching, pinching. pinching. <laughs> they kind of pass midair, right? The audience goes deathly silent. <gasps> Macron catches the gator just fine, and the crab badger is coming at you, and it's pinching, 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 pinching. <laughs> And it flips on its back. And you catch it just yes. fine, perfectly just in time. And the crowd goes wild. Thanos! Thanos, Thanos, Thanos. You know, I've gotten away with some crazy things like launching myself, grabbing that crab badger and that razor fan. But when they threw those animals, across, I was like, this is not gonna work. There's no way. I was kind of blown away. When I saw those two animals fly, I wasn't sure what was happening because I had a more immediate concern with my head being on fire. Um, I'm just surprised that they did it. Dang slippery fish. Hot potato, hot potato, hot potato. So uh, the Promethean chef, once again, on his turn. Um, <clears throat> of course, that doesn't work. Flames shooting into the air yet again. <laughs> I'm so far ahead of you losers. There's nothing you'll be able to do. Soon, I'm going to come into your neck of the woods and ruin all the hard work that you've put in so far. Good luck trying to make any no dishes one cares, that are Bobby Flay. Who's that? How dare you call me Zombie Gray? He is the worst chef in all of space and time. I've defeated him 13 times in the past, and I'll gladly do it again. Don't you make me burn your head again. This guy's rude. Anyway, I'm going to go back to cooking now. And he turns around and starts cooking again. That guy, yeah. I'm going to yell again. But I'm like, <laughs> you know what, though? But like, just let But he's turned around. He doesn't problem. know it's me, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> well, you say that, but you got to roll for that. I'm still gonna get <laughs> just cause, draft, though, just because you're forgettable yeah, yeah. doesn't mean you get away with everything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that's not your turn yet. Zorby Borb's turn. Zorby Borb. All right. Uh, hold on. Zorby Borb's got to sneeze. <laughs> Can Zorby Borb sneeze? Yeah, you don't want to know where it comes from. Uh, hold on. Wait. It, like, please. <laughs> okay. Ink. I think it's passed. Ink, <laughs> ink passed. fills the bubble. I think it's passed. Okay. Uh, okay. So Zorby Borb is back across. Uh, Zorby Borb has his uh, his razor fan. Mm -hmm. So we're all good. Uh, I'm going to begin preparing mm -hmm. my razor fans. Okay. All right. Uh, so uh, first thing I do is, um, of course, is behead the razor fans. Okay. How uh, do you do that? Uh, I take a cleaver mm -hmm. in one tentacle. Mm -hmm. I pin down the razor fan using three tentacles, mm -hmm. one at the front, one at the middle, one at the end. Okay. And then in a quick motion, quick, I chop his head off or attempt to, mm -hmm. in a single cut. You attempt to cut off the Razor Fant's head. Uh, you very quickly move. Uh, but as you know, the Razor Fant, uh, obviously, it thrashes quite a bit. It and does. as you thrash, you miss oh. right next to the Razor Fant, and it smacks its head right into your tentacle. All right? Okay. Do you want to... Do you want to attempt to do anything now while it's smacking its head against your tentacle? I will. Um, I'm going to... I should have done this to begin with. I'm going to kill it before I chop off its head. Okay. So I've got, like I said, my three tentacles wrapped around its mm -hmm. middle mm -hmm. head. Um, I'm just going to take my tentacles that's wrapped around its head in its middle and snap its like neck. That poor rabbit. This is, this is very, very graphic. <laughs> you got to kill the thing. Yeah, gotta... I'm sorry. Okay. So, uh... Roll for it, carefully. Okay, carefully? Right, because as you said you wanted to do, you carefully. To carefully. Sure, sure, sure. It's like that poor rabbit in the long dark. Yeah. Uh, okay, I've got a negative one, but I got a plus two, so that's a one plus, I got a two. A two? All right, so you succeed. I'm gonna scream out to the Promethean chef, and I'm gonna say, huge fan, love what you're doing with scuba. 
At first I was like, what is this person doing starting a fight with this guy? He's massive and he's got fire coming out of every hole. But then I was like, wait a minute. If she's gonna piss this guy off, I'm gonna try to get on his good side, all right? Like, it can only end bad for her, but it can end great for me. Shut your mouth, peasant! I don't want to hear anything you have to say! I got you next on my list! You're amazing! Keep doing you, boo! What did you just call me? Nothing. That's what I thought! Chicken! We're not cooking chicken, you nerd! Do you even know what a chicken is? I have no idea, <laughs> but I know it's not something that I'm cooking right now! All right, talking to the Promethean chef, that was worth a try, but I will never say another word to that guy in my life. He is terrifying. Thank God that Scuba is going to deal with him because I'm just going to lay low from here on out. It is, it's Coco's turn. Okay, uh, um, she's quick, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, I want to quickly take care of the razor fan. Okay. I want to kill it and... So you want her to prep the razor fan? Yeah. Okay. So while she's doing that, uh, I want to yell to um, Coco. I was like, hey, Coco, that gator is kind of bitter. And I'm thinking about making them into fritters. Can we make like a some type of sweet honey sauce to dip them in? Oh, I'm just two steps ahead of you. She runs over to the Lardatron and starts beep booping for a couple of different ingredients. And you can see that she's getting a whole bunch of different sweet stuff, all kinds of things. So she's definitely getting the stuff to make that happen okay. in the future. Cool. Okay. Um, Next up. Wendy. Wendy. Well, I got the crab. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to s get back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sneak this time because I don't want to okay. deal with this owl. Yeah. And any other thing that's in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, there is one wild owl stuck underneath a sheet on the other side. Well, he can't see anything then. No, but he's there. She he's there. there. No, I, at least so I can sneaking. see him. Yeah, yeah, you're sneaking. Okay. Plus three. Cool. Yeah, you make it just fine. Tiptoe through the tulips all yep. the way back. All right. All right. When I get back, uh -huh. am I able to at least start preparing this crab? You can prepare. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be careful. Okay. Because it's snipping. Yep. It's snipping at me. And I want to... Damn, how do you even kill a crab? <laughs> I don't eat seafood, don't so I don't I'm know. I'm not going to give you any tips. Don't look at me. I don't want to bash it. So you are a uh, galaxy-renowned chef. Yeah. You would know the answer. No, to I know. Question. This is so I'm going to tell you what it is. <laughs> so this is me just being oh. ignorant in real life. No, no, I know I don't exactly. Know exactly. I'm pretty sure you just you boil, boil them. You boil it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So yeah, let's let's <laughs> look. I don't. Do... No, I know. No, no. I just love. I just love that. Like, because I thought you were speaking in character. <laughs> so I, my whole time I was just like, this is a weird turn for no. a chef. <laughs> I uh, don't. I don't yep. eat crabs. Sure. All right. So yeah, yeah. All you right. boil it. Um, yeah, I'll boil it. Okay. Yeah. And you're carefully going to place it into the yep. pot to do the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. How do you mess up boiling oh, a crab? What roll was that? Okay, careful or? It was careful. So I got a negative two. All right. So, <laughs> as you are carefully placing this crab <laughs> with all three of your hands yeah. into this boiling <laughs> water, uh, you. <laughs> You accidentally tip over the boiling water all over your station, oh, God. and the uh, crab escapes uh, from your grip. All right? Now, what do you want to try and do now that you have an escaped crab and boiling liquid pouring all over your countertop? I'm going to use double... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have a one-time stunt. Mm -hmm. Double time. Okay. Which, because I have an extra hand, means I can quickly try to... Okay. Snatch the crab up. Okay. Well, also, um, I'm not going to try to fix the boiling water. Mm -hmm. I just want to try and crouch that crab before it gets away on me. Okay. Yeah. So you are you're going to use your your special power. Yeah. All right. Now remember, there is hot water everywhere. Yeah. Um, I'm be careful about it. So you're going to be careful about it, and you're going to try and grab the crab. You're not going to yeah. worry about the stuff spilling all over the counter. I got okay. three hands. Yep. Okay. I'm going to do it. So you're able to grab the crab. Yeah, I already right? lost one ingredient. I'm you're not no using longer, one. Yeah, you're no longer, you, you don't have the opportunity to prepare it this turn, but you've mm -hmm. got a hold of it again. Okay. However, this boiling water has now spread across the countertop and all of that stuff that Coco gathered to make her honey sauce has now been just 
boiled and washed away. So that's all gone now. So that's she's going to have to prepare that again. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Damn. Macron. What do you want Macron to be doing? He now has um, the gator, mm-hmm. right? You did the yeah. swap, the beautiful swap. What kind of appetizer were we thinking? Uh, we're thinking um, <clears throat> like, a, like I think you said fries. Or like maybe saying- a... A bitter sort of a fry, or um, you know what? Maybe like a wine braised gator because oh. macaron. Guys, <laughs> wine braised gator. I would like some input soon. Ooh, cakes, yeah. yeah. All right, get this. That gator. Yes. Turn it into. You've heard of crab cakes. Make like gator cakes. Wine braised. He stops. <laughs> oh. I can do that. <laughs> My <Ben>. boy. <laughs> so uh, I assume, though, first you want him to prep the uh, gator. Yeah. And then also to go and get the ingredients. So I'm just make sure he can prep it properly. Oh, yeah. He nice. Nailed it. Nice. Swift. Um, and then he runs over to go and get ingredients. So he's prepping that. So he's way ahead of you. He's going to be making this, these wine cakes, these gator wine cakes. Great. Okay, uh, Messbot. What do you want Messbot to be doing? He just um, swiftly uh, took care of the uh, the gator as well. I think, right? Okay. Um, so obviously, so he's got. So here's the thing. <clears throat> Messbot is actually in the position to where he could start making a dish. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Yeah. Uh, he's already chopped up the gator bits. Mm-hmm. I want him to make them uh, smaller so we can make some fritters. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're going to coat them in a little bit of whatever this basic load of egg, some flour, and then um, so you're, you're something talking about some like, fried fritters, yeah. yeah, yeah, fried fritters basically. So that's the first part. That's yeah. the main aspect. You're talking about algae gator fritters. Uh, it's going to be cool since it's chart. algae. I'm guessing it's kind of gooey on the inside, so it's going to be like a hush puppy kind of thing. Uh, all right. So yeah, he begins the preparation of this. Yeah, uh, these fritters. Um, and he was able to get a, uh, a plus three. Thanos. All right. Uh, so I've got the crab. I'd like to <laughs> prep the crab. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got a pot of boiling water. Mm-hmm. I'd like to sneakily prepare it. Sneakily. So yeah. you're like, you're trying to be like, hey, crab, how's it going? You don't even know I, what you're I, about to do. I prop the crab at the edge mm-hmm. of the table, but pointing away from the pot of boiling water mm-hmm. and just be like, hey, look over there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... Uh, I just want to point out, I don't know if you're using this power, but I do want to point out, Ash does have the ability to speak to sea creatures. That's true. Uh, absolutely. Um, <laughs> you did so, not forget that. So when he says... <laughs> this is not a revolution to you, Ash. No, so when, he's, <laughs> when he literally <laughs> says, hey, look over there, yeah. the crab would understand that. I'm just Ash, saying, like, that's a yeah. thing. How does that sound to our, uh, us that can't speak it? Um... <laughs> you, you can't hear it with yeah, your human right, ears. Exactly. That's true. That's true. Yeah. All right. So your roll for the sneak. You got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you succeed. Okay. The, nice. you, know, the, you say, "Hey, look over there!" And the crab's like, "You can speak crap!" <laughs> and then you smack it, and it falls back in. And its last thoughts are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it falls into the boiling water. Uh, you gave it a proper death. That's right. <laughs> Confused death. <laughs> just, yeah. It felt no pain because it was so perplexed. Then I guess while that's mm-hmm. doing its thing, I'll uh, prepare a pie crust. You want to? Okay. So you are. Uh, mm. So we're, yeah, we're going to call that a prep. Because you're doing this essentially as a component of the dish. Yeah. Um, you need to pick a uh, flavor, and you're, you're rolling the flavor. So you're gonna you're gonna make a sweet yep. pie crust. It's a uh, neutrino Oreo pie crust. Neutrino Oreos, neutrino Oreos. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. Yes, neutrino Oreos. Neutrino Oreos. Yeah. Um, which, as everyone knows, neutrino Oreos, they are actually like the cream in the center uh, is kind of just looks like a little ball, and there's actually chocolate orbiting around it. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. that's a neutrino Oreo. Uh, okay, so you're gonna make a Neutrinorio pie crust. That's right. Okay, sweet, sweet. Uh, okay, so I'm ro- rolling for flavor. Yeah, you're gonna roll a sweet roll. Okay. All right, so you'll get a plus one. Um, so you have a plus one sweet. Uh, okay. Neutrinorio pie crust. All right. There's lots of cool stuff that's gonna happen. Ooh, <laughs> y'all. Ooh y'all! I can't wait. Oh, that was good. <laughs> 
Hope you guys enjoyed that episode of Uranium Chef. If you guys want to support Uranium Chef and more content like it, click the link right down below. That's to our Patreon. And you can add your name to the list of people who already support us, like these guys over here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.